Welcome in, Carter. Hello, Rangers. Welcome to the fucking show. It gets me every time. Welcome to the fucking show. <laughs> Episode 9. Damn, we're getting close to that. that ten. Ooh. X. Next week could X, get industry. X is also in jeopardy because I think it might be a light cast for for episode ten. Uh oh. Mm. Carter's All gonna right. leave us, ain't he? What? Uh, not the only one. Yeah, the the guys are sending me on a secret assignment in Alaska, and uh, they're sending you. Where's the corporate office sending you, Carter? To Disney because you did not get any footage, so I've got to clean up your mess. Yep. So I hope you do good in Alaska because I would hate to have to go to Alaska. I had the footage, put it on the reel to reel, and it chewed the tape up and it was lost. So hopefully you have better luck than I did. I'm going to hang out with Woody and Buzz and talk shop. Yeah. You know? Where are you going next week, Trenches? I'll be here. He's going to the Home Depot. I ain't got to go nowhere. I got y'all going out doing stuff. Yeah. But we might have somebody special on for next week. Who knows? Yay. All right. Now, don't rule don't rule it out. Yeah, me neither. I know it sounds unrealistic, but I did buy the internet package for the ship. <laughs> and how cool the would whole it be? Ship. How cool I, would I it hope be? it works. How cool would it be to be on Remote, be be in Alaska doing sipping sports on a ship, on a ship, and it'd be daylight. So I'm so on a boat, bitch. Crandis is pretty much guaranteed us if the internet works, he will jump in the ocean live on camera. Yes, live. All right. So, so. <laughs> Who wants a Hang brownie? <laughs> Show us what you got, Carter. Ooh, oh boy, I'm, tell I'm the having, people what you got. I'm reminiscing. I'm, you know, shout out to my. Shout out to my papa up in heaven. Um, good old Jean Paul Carter. Uh, this is some good old plug chewing tobacco, and this is Trenches' fault. We were talking about dip and stuff, and he was like, "I want to, I want to go to Tennessee because you can't buy this everywhere." Apparently, I didn't know that. But he said, "I want to buy some of plug tobacco," and I was like, "The shit my papa used to do." And I remember it was days of work. And I have never had this shit. I have dipped. I have had like, you know, Levi Garrett, Red Man, shit like that. But I have never in my life ever had plug tobacco. I just remember my papa just keeping his little dickies pocket, you know, he wore the little one piece dickies and had his little pocket and he pulled out and spit cups everywhere, you know. So live on camera, this motherfucker was ten dollars for this Whoa. little Fucking brownie is what I'm saying. So we've got to try it. Now, did I he gotta, do that? Did your papa do that every day? Every day, son. All right. I hate to break this to you, but your papa was high as shit 90% of the time you saw him. Well, <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. He was a crazy fucking Cajun. So there you go. He couldn't. He was like Farmer Fran off of a uh, Water Boy. On the way to make it. Now, trenches. Can you chew or do you just dip? I do it all. I, I'm, I'm a walking bad habit. If someone's got a pack of smokes, I'll take one. I used to do the cool. plug. And then, yeah, I'll do I'd love to see Trenches then. smoke. Next week, Trenches is going to smoke a cigarette live on air. Yep. That's, that's I, so after y'all's doing. vacation, I will have a pack of smokes here. And we'll have a cigarette together. Okay. Okay. So, And then I'll drink the next week after that. Ah, wow, I haven't ah, seen ah. that in a while. No, Trenches. <laughs> you may be getting another package of one of these bad boys. I don't know. Mm. So, uh. I'm glad to know that this is paper, the brown part here. Mm-hmm. I was gonna, I was about to just. All right, so you oh, can see, is. I'm opening and I'm wow. opening this thing. So what's the smell you getting off of that? Yeah, right well, off the rip? yeah. Dude, it smells like fucking chew. Yeah. You know? I'm not gonna take it's a big old piece of this, but it's just a lot stronger. All right, here we go. Just swallow it. Yeah. Oh god, it will break my damn teeth. Oh boy. God so you don't damn. dip this, you chew this, right? Yeah. Gotta get a little bit bigger than that, you know. There we go. 
I tried chewing a couple of times and about threw up both times I did it. So, right off the rip, what's your first impression there, Carter? Tastes like some stale-ass fucking Levi Garrett. Mm-hmm. Mm. On a scale of one to ten. <laughs> well, are you feeling sensations in your Netherland regions? I'm gonna need a minute. I mm. mean, it tastes like chew. I didn't know you chewed. I have. I did it like okay. Wasn't very good. I wasn't very good at any sport. Maybe tennis, I had a little bit of a, you know. That was not the sport I thought you were going to Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that would have been the last yeah. pick if someone yeah, said, what real. sport do you think Carter was good at? Tennis. Yeah. Right. But I took That's... tennis lessons. I was also had a much better physique then. But uh, I took tennis lessons from the time I was like seven all through high school. I could walk around. I could walk around the tennis court and be like, what's up? You want this smoke? Any other sport, forget about it. But I did play football, rode the bench. I played baseball. I got to catch a little. I did a little bit. It was kind of like an initiation. Like, you had to dip when you played baseball. So, I started dipping when I was 15. And I sound like a real Tennessee fucking redneck. Yeah, you did. Now. Yeah, you did. But if I ain't. <laughs> Let it come out, Carter. Whoa. You're taking it like a man, dude. That was my first rodeo, bro. This is the first time I ever tried this shit. But, I mean, I used to chew Levi Garrett, some Red Man, you know, in the pouch. But I ain't never done this shit. And by the, by the way it's going, I'm never going to do it again either. <laughs> so you're going to keep it in the whole show, right? I try. We'll, me try. and Krantis will join you. We'll, we'll both have some dip in or something. Mm-hmm. Right, Cran, just Yeah, I'll get a dip next time. Just, just tear up on a cigarette and dip it in some, you know, some flavor and pop it right in. You'll be good. Whoa. All right. Let's do Whoa. it. There you go, Carter. I'll join you, bud. I do love Copenhagen. Copenhagen mint. Long cut. I love Never had mint. that. Mint so It's got to be long cut. That fine cut shit is nasty. It's like I don't powder. like fine. I don't like the, the natural. Long cut, baby. Or I'll take a pouch. I ain't, I ain't against a pouch. Mm. Uh, mm. I gotta have the real thing. Now that I've quit dipping and shit, I mean, the pouch don't bother me. Back then, I'm like, hell no. Well, now that Carter's, you know, got his going on and everybody's ready and relaxed, y'all ready to do some draft? Let's draft. All right. Let me get the paper rocking. We're gonna do five on this one as well. Right. Top five picks. I'm gonna pick the order here. I never get to go first. Top five bourbons. <laughs> I haven't went first since week one. All right, no, Ooh, good pick for one week though. Yeah, trenches, Cranges, and Carter. See my pair of Adidas back there behind me. Is that the new corn pair? <laughs> I don't know why they're there. They're just there. Do you see that? Corn's coming out with their own, like they signed a deal with Adidas. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, really? Like okay. 20 years too late, but yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it is a little late. Um. All right, so this year's draft, or this week's draft, we're going to be doing top five smells. This is a smell draft. Smell. I wanted to go first to kind of kick it off so you guys can get an idea of what I mean. Mm-hmm. So my first overall pick, I'm going with fresh brewed coffee. Hmm. Ranges. So you went coffee. <clears throat> I love my my first pick. All right. With my first pick, I will go with bacon. Oh, good pick. Mr. Carter. With my first pick, I'm going with freshly douche vagina. All right. I figured no, 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 they no, could do no, this. No, no. Yeah, all right, I'll, like keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. All right, I'm just going to put vagina here. I don't think we need the douche. We want to snake it or go NFL style. But what about the freshly part? 
Do we put that in there? Or just vagina. Well, it's got to be fresh. Yes. So yeah. sushi's off. So off the board. Let, yeah. Let's go. Let's let, let me go first again. Go ahead. Popcorn. Popcorn. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll take the obvious one that's still out there. I'll go with shit. Shit is one of the favorite smells. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh I thought no, 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 not favorite smells. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. What do they call it when you're into shit? Is it that smut? Scat. Scat, scat. <laughs> All right, yeah. The, <laughs> the whole favorite part threw me off a little bit. <laughs> God, dude. Woo. Oh fuck! Damn. All right, yeah, I got myself on that one. <laughs> I don't know how to recover from this one, so I'm just gonna say, <laughs> shit. I'm gonna say barbecue. Barbecue. All right. Barbecue. Shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Woo. Lord help us. All right. Second. Oh, shit. <laughs> My second pick, I'm going to go with freshly cut grass. Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. All right, so now we go to the round three. I'm going to take – this one's – it's really just, I think, my thing. I don't know how other people feel about it. I'm taking gasoline. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I love that fucking smell. Oh, bro, you took t- oh, fresh cut grass is definitely one of mine. Uh-huh. It's my inspiration to cut grass. It's like it don't hit till like several hours later. You can go outside at 10 o'clock at night and still smell that shit. Oh, so it's back to me. Can you beat shit? Hmm, oh. I'm going to try to. Let's go. Damn, bacon barbecue I love the smell of a, of a cigarette cigarette all right my own my own I don't like other people's cigarettes I'm going to go with wood burning like campfire you know burning wood all right mm-hmm. I'll just put campfire back to you again Carter What about Oh Like a freshly baked pie Pie? Alright Cranges I love it when I do my laundry And my clothes smell like You put those little dryer sheets in there And they come out smelling so I don't know, like, like the gain or snuggle or whatever it is. I love that smell. Right. Or, or a fresh shower smell. Laundry. <laughs> Mine's exciting. As I'm writing it, you're like, or shower. Totally yeah. different, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, fourth pick for me, I'm going to go with freshly baked cookies, like chocolate chip cookies. Damn. So I got coffee, grass, gasoline, cookies. Mm. Mm. I loved my first one, but I don't know if I'd like my others. I think your second one was a killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um I'm gonna go with uh See, I don't think it's been taken. I see campfire, but I'm gonna go with cedar. Ah, oh, damn it, that's what I want, oh, man. Mm. But I got you. Well, you guys got me on this one. I've definitely shit the bed, no pun intended. But uh, give me the one I didn't pick on the last time. I'll, I'll go with shower this time. Shower, all right. Fresh shower. The smell of sex. So you want vagina and sex? Mm-hmm. So that means you like mm-hmm. the smell of penis, too. I mean, my penis. What's on your mind, Carter? Okay. 
I smell sex and candy. Uh, y'all vote if, if you feel like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had coffee, fresh cut grass, gasoline, chocolate chip cookies, and cedar. Cran just has bacon, barbecue, cigarettes, laundry, and shower. <laughs> <laughs> Carter has vagina, popcorn, campfire, pie, and sex. <laughs> Sounds good to uh, me. Uh, you know, I like to think I, I know when I'm defeated, right? I like to think that. <laughs> I think on this <laughs> one I'm defeated. I think trenches trenches probably edges. If I was in the comments vote, I would probably have to oh. lean trenches. Is the plug mm-hmm. coming out? It's coming out. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Well, well, well. You made it longer than I could have. It is not. It's just annoying, really. Mm. I See, just... I, I love to. I do love a dip. However, yeah. I'd suck the juice out of it so quickly. You know. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. You know, I, it's like I, when I got the dip in, I'm just sitting there and just. I know who to go to if I need it. If I need a quickie. The, the, the dip goes bad in like 15 minutes. I'm like, I'm not a professional dipper. Like, trenches can sit around and dip for, he can take one dip and dip for an hour on it. Yeah, usually when I cut, so I have about an acre and a half. And usually when I, before I start cutting, I just put one in. I don't even realize it's there until it's, I'm done cutting and weed eating and everything else and just toss it out. Well, you, know, you don't, things, you I just let that. it sit there. And then finally, once you get some saliva, just, you know, you're not forcing it, then you spit. Yeah, I can't resist it. Like, I'm sitting there and hold on, just sucking the shit out of it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's how he got this job. And, and how do you know when it's time to give, just get rid of the dip? Does it fall apart? Mine, yeah, I, I, mean, I can take it out right now. It's one solid. Again. Damn. Stays one solid piece. Mm-hmm. Wow. Great, what a wild shot. Friday morning this is. I yeah. still dip when I go to Tennessee games because you can't smoke in kneeling. I will dip. I'll have some. There's been there's been two occasions where I've had to dip in the whole game. Dude, I remember when we uh, mm. when I took Rattlehead to the uh, cocktail party. Yeah. Who? Yeah. <laughs> of course, when we go up there, he shows them the pack of cigarettes. First bad move. They're like, trash them. I go in. I have this in my pocket. Dip in my pocket, but hidden away. Walk right through. As soon as we sat down, I was like, here's the vape. Popped out my dip. You just got to be smart with it. You can't yeah. show them what you got. Yeah. Uh, I was complaining to you guys about my trip for at a Universal. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell these guys here that are listening today that I, I, I would be more accepted if I was a leper with you know, like horns growing out of my head and shit than being a smoker. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's annoying to people. If you don't like it, whatever. But like, they've went too far with it now. I, it, so it's hard to be a smoker, dude. If you, you they don't, yeah. they're, they're making, well, you can't even smoke like out in the, I remember the last armor game I went to, we tried to go, it was like a pain. It's just a pain in the ass to be a smoker anywhere in public anymore. You gotta like leave the premises. Yeah, it makes no sense that I have like designated areas. Jesus, come on, man! It ain't like we're, you know, killing people or something. Here, here's what I don't get, though, man. Like, why didn't you just stop and get a vape just for that day? I know. I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not a vapor. It just don't, it don't do get the job done. I guess I haven't found the right one. I think because you smoke what Marble Lights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just need to get a re- like these fruity shits. They're they're not gonna do you any good. Uh-uh. You need to go get the uh, the ones they sell at the gas station that are like the sticks. Those are the closest you're gonna get to a cigarette because they're straight mouth to lung inhales. This one's just a straight lung inhale. It's doing nothing for cigarette smokers. Are you a respectful dipper? Like I remember, every- <laughs> I've always been around dippers my whole life at work and stuff. And mm-hmm. like, go to do something, you put your hand down on the ground to get up or whatever, and you put your hand right in somebody's dip spit. Oh, God. All right. So, <laughs> yes and no. Um, if I'm dipping somewhere out and about, I always have a bottle. I don't use the whole cup with the tokens because <clears throat> it's, it's going to leak somehow. Use the bottle, get the cap, throw it away when you're done. But when I was in high school, I had this teacher who was a complete asshole. 
So me and my buddy decided, okay, we'll put a pinch in. And by the time we left that class that day, there was like a fucking pool sitting between my desk and his desk. Mm. <laughs> but besides that, yeah, I'm pretty respectful. I don't want people touching my shit and having to deal with that. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. When we, we need to have a smoker versus dipper debate one week. Uh, we've had that before on an old thing. Did we? Yeah, dipping actually won because uh, my my argument was how many times have you asked, "Hey, Crantis, what do you think?" And he's not there because he's not dipping. Mm. Oh man! Yeah, you actually helped me win that argument. Yeah, that one is kind of a trump card. Honestly, I think I'd still smoke to this day if it wasn't for the fact that one, the kids, but two, the smell. Like, I hate having to fucking wash the clothes over and over and over again trying to get that shit out. Is it me, or it seems like it? It's like people that smoke in cars with their windows up. <laughs> Those are the ones, like, I've never done that. Never. I never, sm- I never smoked with my child in the car. Never. Not one time. And when I, I do smoke in my, my truck, but, like, before I get to where I'm going, I'll let the windows down, air it out. And, you know, the wind's blowing through your shirt. It kind of gets rid of all that smoke. Even in the winter, I do that. Like, I don't, unless, you know, I can sometimes, I can smell it on other people, but I don't know. I think I do a pretty good job of keeping that smoke smell off of me. Yeah. And I don't smoke in the house. I used to, my wife, in the younger days, she got all over me about doing that. So I quit that. You know what you can do in your house, though? What's that? Yeah. All day. Boy, back in the day, day, man, playing them video games, playing Madden, NCAA, till 7 in the morning, till we couldn't take it no more. Dipping all night. Dude, uh, the only, actually, I take that back. It was other than, the only other time I would spit on the ground and I didn't give a shit who touched it is during football games. Like, I would have that shit right under my mouthpiece. Did not care. Speaking of, dude, the NCAA football game, it's back on again, right? You guys know? Yeah, but there's a little problem. What's up? Okay. So, the problem is apparently, and this is the greedy NCAA, you know, doing their th- shenanigans here. So, it, EA, I guess, um, decided, okay, here's how much we will allot. Now, this is j- obviously, you know, the last couple of NCAAs they made, they quit doing the FCS teams. Like you didn't have your Alabama A and M's on there anymore. You didn't have your UT Martins or you know the small schools like that. You just had strictly FBS. You know mm-hmm. you still had Marshall and shit like that. But anyway, I say all that because they allotted. You know they they rounded it up. Each player in the FBS was only going to get like 200 bucks because the NCAA, well, they allowed that. But the problem is they're keeping like, oh my God, like, I think I read if they would just split it down the middle, like NCAA keeps half of it and they give the other half to the players, the players would get like, for their name, image, and likeness, they would probably get like... You know, every player at every, even in small schools like, you know, your fucking Texas San Antonio's and shit, they would get like three grand. But the NCAA, I mean, think about that. That's how much money the NCAA, like, wants to keep to the point where the players would literally only get like 200 bucks. And really? So the. So, yeah, so the players are pissed. And so now there's – the game's going to happen, I guess, but what they're probably going to do is they're just going to do like they used to do. They're just going to have numbers. Like numbers, but they're not even going to make it like whoever your quarterback is. If your quarterback's, you know, a black guy who's six four and he wears number seven, the quarterback on the game is going to probably be like some white dude that's, you know, number 12. So why don't they just yeah. put the g- generic rosters out there and then they'll create – that's what that's what I'm saying. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, it doesn't matter because the the first week that game's out, 
Somebody's gonna create all the rosters. You can just download yeah. it for free. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> Roster yeah. sharing. Have they announced what like uh, what systems these are gonna be on? Uh, PS fives and Xbox, whatever. So we gotta fucking buy a PS five. Yep. God dang it. You so it's next year, right? That's what it says. Yeah, like July. It'll be mid July, I think, of twenty twenty four. A year away. Let's go. I just want it to happen. I just, oh, I know, I just want it one more time. I regret so much getting rid of my the fourteen. Yeah, NCAA fourteen. I regret it. I've still got it. It's just my PlayStation <laughs> don't really work. Like the fan or whatever is kind of, yeah. you know, not. Can't not you get those working. Playstations pretty cheap though now? Oh yeah, dude. You can get a PS three very cheap, but uh, I don't know. It, I mean, if it's coming out next year, what's the bother, I guess? Yeah. I just feel like something else is going to happen. They're going to delay it another year. And Here's what I want them to do, though. So it's been since 2014 that we've had this game. Do the right thing. For the cover, put every fucking Heisman that's, that's won it since on one cover. Hmm. Like, catch us all up. Don't just put that, like, I'm a Georgia fan. Don't just put the hot team for right now. Put the kids who missed out on it. Mm-hmm. Put them on the cover. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good idea. That is a really good idea. But you know they, they won't, though. They'll put, like, a TCU player or something on there. Here's, here's what's great about it, though. All right, so Madden. Madden has some of the best, like, pre-sales that you can get. Like, I got a Todd Gurley McFarlane one time with my Madden pre-sale. Make it a pre-sale item, and with that item, you can choose one of those 16 players to be the main cover. So you can have just a Joe Burrow cover and nobody else. Like, oh, yeah. Make yeah. it a whole pre-order thing. You're getting extra money, 10 bucks a pop. Yeah, people will pay it. Oh, yeah. No, no doubt about it. Please let that game come out. I know and that bring- I'm too old for video games, but shit, I'll give it a try. And bring back the road to glory. If you don't bring back that fucking where I start from high school and get to pick my, it was all for nothing. But you know, that. it'll be too buggy. It'll mm-hmm. be buggy, and it'll be all about the spending money portion of on the game. Oh, yeah. Everybody will be doing the cards and stuff, and you could pick four teams unless you pay eight hundred ninety-two dollars. And see, I never did that. Did you guys do that? I'm traditionalist through and through. Like I did the 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 road to glory. And then I would just, you know, every time I'd pick Georgia or sometimes I'd pick like a middle Tennessee state, see if I can take them yeah, all the too. way. Mm-hmm. And then besides that, I just play season mode or, you know, game versus me versus a friend. That's it. Online Dynasty was the greatest feature yes. in any game I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. It was <sighs> years of my life were lost to that mm-hmm. for hours. I should say years. If if you looked at if you know like these games now they like keep up with how much time you've played games on your phone and stuff, bro. I, th- I bet there would have been seven hundred days on that thing. <clears throat> I mean, we were into it, man, hardcore. That was oh, yeah. like what this is back then. Yeah, oh, dude. I, I, Kenny had me in so many. My stepdad had me in so many damn dynasties. Like we was in like. You know, he would he was managing my profile at one point. He was doing his profile and my profile, and then he was in like twelve. And I'm like, I mean, he was retired. That was the only way he could do it because you had a job. I mean, dude, he he was in all them text me group chats and all that. <clears throat> yeah, all day long. He's like, well, I got a game at two. Then this one guy wants to play it. You know, I mean, crazy man. But it was well, fun. Y- y'all realize when this happens next year. Where it's going to take over most of us. Yeah. It's like, gonna... We're going to be constantly playing that game, either here or, you know, offline. Yeah. It, we'll be, like, betting on games. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a just... lot of share screens. Yeah. Uh, so, if you guys want us around on YouTube, you better start to liking us now before that game comes out. Because you know it might what? be adios amigos. We all need to definitely get the same <laughs> console for sure. Yeah. I'm we going have to. Five. I'm we going PS5 to. too. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. I'll X- go Xbox has been nothing. Everything I'm reading about both these systems, yeah, PS5 was harder to get, but there's having way less issues with the PS5. Plus, I've always been a PlayStation guy myself. 
these things are just coming out so buggy now, though. Mm-hmm. I remember the last Madden that I, I think I had like Madden 19, and the game's just full of bugs and stuff. Yeah. It's like they're incomplete when they put them out there. Mm-hmm. The the one game that doesn't do that <clears throat> is the show. The show is probably the most complete EA Sports game you're gonna play. Like they and, put a uh, lot of effort in ML- MLB and NHL. And uh, tap sports baseball. He just had to do it, didn't he? He did. We got cranjist. You got cranjist. Guys, speaking of uh, baseball, uh, I know you guys are your Braves aficionados. Dude, you like great. What you like what, they, like what you're seeing? Oh, Dude, yeah. They're, they're playing amazing right now. I guess it's the All-Star break now, so – or fixing to be. So, we're going to have a little, you know, All-Star break. We had three – we got three starters – Acuna, Arcia, and then of course our catcher. Um, so it's going to have three starters for the National League team, which is always really cool to see. Hell, Acuna's been every year, man. He's made All Stars even as a rookie. So, mm-hmm. did you think y'all was going to drop off when Freddie Freeman left you? Well, hell, I mean, we won the division. Again, and right now we're first place and got the best record in all the national leagues. So, but when it happened though, did it feel like a big part of your team? It, it felt like a betrayal more than anything. Yeah, Freddie some people took it harder than others. Oh yeah, let's, let's not go into that, Kurt Trenches. <laughs> <or Trenches. laughs> Do you feel like they're peaking at the wrong time? Of course they are, but if they can just keep that, if they can keep it going, yeah. I mean, you realize the Braves have won. Five straight NL East championships. And they're on their way to win a sixth in a row. I mean, that's like the 90s Braves. I mean, but they one win? World Series. Okay. But you think know. about this, 1990s Braves. Okay. They won, what, 14 straight NL East championships, won one World Series. Okay, we've won five straight, and we've got a World Series. So, that's not terrible, one out of five. Yeah. And you're looking at a pure dynasty in the 90s Braves. Yeah. I mean, dude, that was – those, I mean, they lost the '91. They went. Uh, they they lost the '91 World Series, the '92 World Series, lost the '96 World Series, and lost the '99. They they went to the World Series five times and went one and four. Five this times. Braves, five, yeah. times. five times. Five times. Five times. Five times. Now can you dig that, sucker? Oh. <laughs> All right. So. I have a few things. Yeah. Of course. Now, last year, we're getting ready for a new college football season. You know, um, we're moving past last season. But let's talk about last season. I'm already over this this season and going into uh, basketball. Look, put it in reverse. Back it on up. All right. And let's talk about last season for a second. Hmm. I seen, a, I seen a list, Cranjus, and Auburn's on this list. And it was the top uh, 50 games of last year. Now, I don't think they went with the bowl games. I think they just went regular season. Um, hmm. But how about this? Who are y'all? Who would you? Who do y'all think was the greatest regular season game last season? Oh, regular right. season, I'm going to go uh, – Ooh. LSU Bama. I mean Tennessee Bama was up there. It's got to be up there. Well, South Carolina Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just show you. How about that? All right. Boom. Mm. Oh, oh God, <laughs> Georgia Missouri. Fuck me. Whoa. Auburn and Mississippi State. At number oh, yeah, 48. yeah. I remember that. Auburn that and cool. Missouri at number 48. Yep. Tennessee, Florida. 21. And, of course, at number one. There we go. But just saying, I just, you know, there's pretty good games. That, that Cal, or that USC-Utah game was amazing. I think hmm. we were watching that all together in here. Like in a, you know. Yeah. Um, I think we were watching that game together. 
LSU Florida State was good. LSU missed that extra. Army and A and M. Fill me in on that one. Army won. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, that's Appalachian. That's Appalachian State. Appa- yeah, okay, yeah, Appalachian State. <laughs> they beat A and M. Yeah, yeah. The Florida Florida oh, yeah, State game right. was a that's damn right. good game. I remember watching that one last year. It was a Clemson Wake Forest. That was a damn good yeah. game. How come TCU Georgia's not on here? Oh, that's a good point. Um, it was a great game. Let me tell you, number 49, Bowling Green and Marshall, that was a classic. I have no idea who won that game. So so you really just want to show us number one and piss off a couple of our uh, subscribers here. That's not what I was trying to do. I was just, uh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Can't let me enjoy shit. So <laughs> two weeks ago, oh, well, before I do that, that's yeah. the big surprise, okay? So, so some of our viewers will know what I'm talking about. But first, last week, something that's been going on, I think they started it in 2004, is the Manning Passing Academy. you got Archie Manning, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, Cooper Manning, hell, Diana Manning, I don't know. Um, but what they do is they, they it's it's very expensive. Like my, my, my brother-in-law was like, hey, I wonder about, I think I might send Hunter down to that. I'm like, well, it's in Louisiana, first of all. And it's about – Eight to ten thousand dollars per kid, uh-huh. you know. And what they do is, is they they they'll get college quarterbacks to help. They only, you know, they'll select like twelve college quarterbacks, and not only do they work with the college quarterbacks, but the college quarterbacks kind of help with the high school quarterbacks and the kids and whatnot. But anyway, so it was at Nichols, um, and I just happened to have a little footage from it. All right, yeah, so. You know, like I said, they had uh, a ton of, you know, they had like 12 college quarterbacks, but just check out this guy. Tahoma! Tahoma! That's Peyton Manning. This right here is uh, Joe Milton. Joe? Joe? He's throwing this from the 25 yard line. Holy cow! Holy cow! Holy cow! Holy cow! Holy cow! Holy cow! Holy so that means if he threw it from the uh where'd you say he threw it from the 25 25 and it hit the back of the end zone right well the guy caught it like he threw oh, the guy shit. running in stride but so at least 75 yards yeah but anyway it's time for the tradition of the week now who, what other quarterbacks were there do you know of anybody uh i have a list here hold on I'll show now, you. he was the starter at Tennessee like two years ago, wasn't he? He got hurt. Yeah, he got hurt against Pitt. And uh, I thought he got beat out by Hinton Hooker. No, he no, got he hurt. hurt. And then he, he once Hooker went down, he picked it up at the end of the last season. Now, were they good when, when he was the starter? <laughs> they were, I mean, about the same. I mean, he he only got to play. Well, okay, he started the Bowling Green game. Um, He started the Pitt game, which was close, and then he got hurt. And then Hooker Hooker did okay, but the thing, the reason Hooker remained starter is because, well, Hooker just he was doing hit and Hooker type was, stuff. Yeah, he was doing hit and Hooker type stuff, and it's kind of kind of pointless to you know. But I mean, that's not really important, I guess. But yeah, I mean, okay. So here's the quarterbacks that were there. Uh, well, shit, I thought I had it. Hold on one second. I got to get on Twitter. Let me oh. tell the guys in the truck they need to roll the footage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Hey, guys, in the back, roll Let's the see. footage. Oh, by the way, guys, SEC TakeOver starts here in a few days. So I don't know if you guys are like it when your team's on, but, you know, it's where – each day. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. On SEC so, Network. July 1st, Alabama. Cranges, your Tigers are on July 3rd, 24 hours. Uh, trenches, your Bulldogs will be July 5th. My team will be July 12th. Anyone else that's wondering, Florida's July 4th. When is Vanderbilt's? Vanderbilt's is July 14th. All right, I got to be there for that. All right, two-minute show. Texas a <laughs> July 13th, Cranges. Did you know that? The Vanderbilt, they'll have to, like, play baseball. <laughs> it's just and it's just like, reruns of Sarah Fuller walking the field. Like uh, coin flipping or something. Yeah, well, basically. EC will be on there, like, uh, talking about <laughs> Vanderbilt. 
sure. We'll, we'll go with that. Um, come on, Cranger. She can do better than that. No, no. Um, hold on. I'm, I'm still looking for this thing here. I literally just seen it, so that's why I'm, I don't understand. Uh, did y'all know that the uh, NCAA is looking to shorten the transfer portal? You know how guys get like 60 days to decide or whatever? They're going yeah. to try to make it 30 days. So, no, that'll be intense. Yeah, they're oh, rushing really? bad decisions is what they're doing. <laughs> Ooh, boy, that's going to be intense. Yeah, I, they, they were talking about that. Now, obviously, I don't think they've, I don't think they have settled on that, like, for sure. But anyway, okay, so here it is. The 2023 Manning Passing Academy, Manning Passing Academy standouts. Uh, they put Joe Milne at one. Mm-hmm. North Carolina's Drake May. Washington's yeah, Michael, Michael Penix Jr. Quinn Ewers from Texas. Jaden Daniels from LSU. Devin Leary from Kentucky. And K.J. Jefferson from Arkansas was there. So, I mean, you know. Drake May, though, that's that's the name I was waiting to see if he was there or not because that's, that's a badass quarterback. He finished second, just letting you know. I mean, woo. But, okay, I'm going to have a problem. Texas? Huh? Does Texas have a quarterback problem? Like too but many like good it- ones? They yeah. got Quinn Ewers and Yeah, and then, then you got Arch Manning sitting back there. You know Arch he's is a bust. Yeah. You think so? If, if you look not, at his highlight stats, he didn't even do what Stetson did, and Stetson was a fucking three star walk on. Like yeah. it's just his name carrying him. Quinn yeah. Ewers is, is legit. Just because well, of your name, I mean just because you're you come from, you know, uh what's his class, do you know? I don't. I, I had a whole thing about this, you know, a long time ago about him. Yeah. And just, it's he's not worth the hype, so, but it's Quinn Ewers. Is, this ain't going to be his last. He'll be the year. starter. Um, oh no, he'll start for next two years. Okay, yeah, I think so, he's yeah. going to be a junior this year. So Arch Manning's going. Arch Manning's going to wind up at another transferring to Ole Miss. Mm-mm. Yeah, probably not. You know, you know that was shut down quick, right? Because they all can't stand like all the Mannings can't stand Lane. Yeah. Yep. They don't like how he operates. Um, so my last thing, guys, and I'll stop, I'll shut up, but two, you know, two weekends ago, I was in Knoxville, and I got to hang out with my buddy, y'all, uh, well, Cranges has met him, Billy Ratliff. Billy Ratcliffe. Yeah, <laughs> well, whatever. Billy Ratliff, uh, and, and the video I want to show is all about Billy Ratliff, and it's not a highlight video, but it just kind of shows what he did. And uh, so, because, you know, I don't think a lot of people know who he is. He's not a household name. And uh, even there's 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 a lot of younger Tennessee fans that don't know who Billy Ratliff is. So, I get it. I mean, but uh, still, I think he deserves a little little, little praise. So, here well, we is go. Is he like the Lindsey Scott for y'all? Like Pretty he's much. For the one thing? Yeah. Like, you'll, yeah. you'll see right here in this video. Ball fans everywhere remember the play. Second down of 11 for Arkansas, 147 remaining. One tight end left. Sterner left the That's ball. one of the wildest plays. Oh, he stumbled and fumbled. It was a Billy. And Billy Ratliff recovered. Pushed him into him. But what if it wasn't just a blessing from the football gods? What if <clears throat> Billy Ratliff knew it was coming all along? But first, let's back up a little Arkansas was a really good team. We didn't play our best, especially on offense, and and they were every time they needed to play, it seemed like they made a play to keep the ball and, and and keep the momentum. In a sloppy game riddled with turnovers, Tennessee had its moments, but couldn't seem to break through. An errant Arkansas snap sailed over then punter Chris Aiken's head and awarded Tennessee two points and the ball. But it only took the Vols four plays to turn it over and seemingly sealed the game for the Hogs. That was that first time during that season I felt the feeling of defeat. It was the first time when you look at the clock and it just didn't add up. I remember distinctly T running to the sidelines and 
starting to pull his jersey up like he was going to unbuckle his pads. I had to go in. I'm ready right there. And I just remember saying, you know, T coming off on fourth down. I said, hey, fellas, like, man, keep your helmet on, man. We about to get this ball back. Man. And you kind of look at him side out like, all right, man. And if we do, it's going to be 20 seconds left in desperation situation. Billy Ratliff literally hit the All-American guard that they had and literally knocked him back and his foot stepped on Sterner's foot. Then Billy recovered the foot. And people forget about the 66 yards that we had to go. Travis Henry, well in the field goal range now, down to the 28 yard line. When I saw Coase in them and he looked at me in my eyes and said, I got you. After that, history made. They did everything they practiced. They ran the ball, gave the ball to Travis. It didn't matter what Travis, they would have gave it to It's one of those moments that will identify forever in Tennessee lore. You know, hey, I was there and I saw part of that. The reason that I picked this video tonight is because, not this coming week, because, well, we're going to be on assignment. Mm -hmm. But Billy Ratliff is coming to Sipping Sports. Wow. Now, can we he remind ain't coming, him? He ain't coming huh? just to talk Tennessee football. He's coming to talk football. He's got stories from from every, you know, like he's got, I mean, dudes, he's got some of the most amazing stories. He's friends with way more than just Tennessee players. He's got Georgia players he's friends with. He's got Auburn buddies. I mean, so I got the confirmation from him about a day or two ago. He's watched the show. I said, would you be willing to come on? And not only did he say he'd be willing to come on, but he would even be a regular if we wanted him to. Hmm. Okay. There you go, Billy. So. Now, when he does come on, Carter, can you remind him that long time ago in a galaxy far away, we had a debate and somebody on this panel voted him the number one Tennessee player of all time. Well, you can tell him when he's on here. All right. Well, you didn't. I didn't expect you to bring that up about me, but yes, I'm. <laughs> just tell him, Cran just thinks he's the greatest player ever. But I mean, look, <laughs> I get it. You're probably looking like, well, Carter, you're getting a former Tennessee player, but hey, he's not just a former Tennessee player. He's a former college football player. He played in the SEC. You know, he knows the game. Right. And he's Most a huge fan of sports. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. And he knows good shows when he sees them. Not only is was he a good fo football player, but, you know, I'm sure he'll show us. But he was recruited to play college basketball at North Carolina. He's a hell really? of a basketball player, yeah. Nice. Is he, has he been training you, Carter? Is that why you want to take me on in basketball so bad? Uh, dude, I, I – only way I'm playing is for playing like you know horse or something. I can't beat you one on one. There's just no way. I'll beat you, you got, one on one, but we're playing skins versus skins. Can we yeah. play Rodman ball? I wouldn't play any other way. <laughs> but hell but yeah! All, all seriousness, bring him on. Yeah, uh, I do have a tradition of the week. Oh, cool! But it ain't a Carter one. So, are you guys ready for that? We are ready. This hmm. is. To me, a very underrated one. I think that, I mean, I, I think this is one of the best, or one of the newer, really badass traditions that doesn't get enough recognition, maybe. And so, without further ado, we're going to go to Camp Randall and jump around. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And 51 days. <laughs> They're just sitting there waiting on it, baby. I mean, look at that's that fucking shit. crazy. I love the fact that they're let like the commentators aren't even talking. They're letting them do their thing. 
Man. Do you know the about when that started? Is this something they've been doing since like the nineties or? No, uh, I believe it's, it's been like yeah, it's pretty new. It's probably like ten years, maybe ten years old, if that. That is cool. I like this. I, I can't wait to see some more in the future too. Oh, dude, I've got a bunch. Because that is the one thing about college football. There are so many great traditions. And, and that's the thing. <laughs> not just outside of the SEC, there's a bunch. You know, it doesn't have to be in the SEC. I mean, there's, there's a ton. Yeah, we do fake football too. Yeah. Yeah, Virginia Tech with Inner Sandman. That's going to be one we'll probably see. Um, you know, I, I, last week I kind of did three. I, I showed, you know, I showed the War Eagle. I showed the, I showed Uga and – Smoky and you know, yeah, that uh, Georgia t- tradition video you played last week that was, yeah, I kind of dropped the ball on that, but I, I didn't really do my research either. So, <laughs> here's this old geezer talking about the dog, yeah, I kind of dropped the ball on that one. I, I'll, okay, I'll admit that, but <laughs> there's a you know, there's a bunch. There's there's running with Ralphie, I think that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Penn know? State whiteout, that's always oh. fun to see. The Michigan maze out is pretty cool. The light shows that stadiums are doing now. Yay or Iowa no? Wave. I love yeah. it. I love Georgia's light show. I think Bama's got a nice one. Tennessee's when it's orange lit up is pretty cool. Um, But, yeah, the Iowa Wave, that's 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 one of the most heartwarming things in all sports. <laughs> I didn't think I'd like it until they did it. I saw it for the first time in person. Like, I thought it was really badass. The I hate to say it. I don't know if I've ever seen that. The Iowa what? Wave? Yeah. I'm sure at, I have. It's after what, third registered. quarter? Like right before probably, fourth quarter starts? <laughs> they all turn. Children's yeah. Hospital, right, Granges? Mm-hmm. Look, I, let's just watch it. Hell, I yeah. showed three last week. It's, it's pretty four. awesome. Yeah. It's it's like a children's hospital right there, and, and they bring all the kids up to the windows, and, they, and all the fans turn around. Oh, wow. And they wave to them. You yeah, that's pretty cool. It. Okay, yeah. That's six minutes long. <laughs> Let's not give those kids more than two minutes on this show. <laughs> Players. <laughs> yeah, to me, this is the number one tradition. Such a special moment. What a special moment in Iowa. And they're losing 14 to 3. I love the Big Ten announcer. I love Gus Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fan of his. I wish the SEC could get him. Mm -hmm. Well, good news is we don't need Gary Danielson anymore. Am I the only one that was confused? I thought this past year was a SEC. So draft. did I. And then, like, I'm surprised to know that we still got one more year. With, I swore up and down I, I thought last too. year. Dude, dude. It's like I they snuck another year in there. I seen commercials for the CBS Big Ten. Yes. Mm-hmm. So did I. So what the fuck happened? Did they just say, okay, let's just give it another year? Like, I don't get it. I, yeah, the only thing I'm going to miss when we leave CBS is the fucking song. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing. Dun, 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 their production dun, 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 is really that's, good. Yeah, that's all I'm going to miss. Those announcers fucking kick rocks. Their production is top notch. Yeah. Dude, here it is. Look, look at yes. this. Here's the fucking commercial. <laughs> Dude, they were playing it during the playoffs the whole time. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? I, I thought so. Even heading into last season, it, there was the talk about how this was yeah. the SEC's last year on CBS.
Wood of Rosedale, all fun to that. Look, coming in 2023. So, are I we sure we're, we're, this isn't really happening? I don't know. I mean, I know they're going to do the Georgia Florida game, but I thought that was it. I thought that's the only game that they're going to cover SEC CBS. Is Florida, really? Georgia. I think that's what I that's what I heard. Yeah, we need to get. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm so confused at this point. I don't even know what to. to, to I make thought we were we were going to be strictly SEC Network ESPN from now on. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. It says ultimately going to the conference's main register rights holder ESPN beginning in 2024. C- CBS. Subsequently reached a deal to televise Big Ten football beginning in 2023, which will replace CBS's SEC package in its traditional time slot beginning 2024. So I'm still confused. Yeah, I'm. I'm... So is this year still CBS or not? That's what it's looking like. It says SEC leaving. That was 2020 shit. Look, I. Alabama versus LSU. That's always a CBS. Okay, here's what it says. CBS Big Ten deal will reportedly let them keep their 3.30 p.m. Eastern time SEC slot in 2023. See, and that's not what it says on here. This one says CBS has announced its 2023 SEC on CBS college football broadcast schedule and windows, which presents a total of 15 games, including the SEC championship for the 2023 season. So what did we miss? I don't know. I've been Money. reluctant to say anything about it because I thought, okay, you know, Cran, just you like normal, you're under a rock and you wake <laughs> up and everybody knows everything and you're the last to know. But I swore, man, I swore. Well hell, not just look at this commercial we just watched it coming in twenty twenty three. Yeah. It's all money. Money wasn't right for this year with everything going on. They're going to hit it the same year as the realignment was. So, do you guys think they did like a sweetheart deal in in the middle of the night where they just quietly agreed on something? Because I ain't seen no more commercials about it. Yeah. And from what I've been hearing on the radio and the talk shows that that I watch on TV, the sports shows I watch on TV, you know, they're talking about SEC on CBS, so... Yeah, 2024 is going to be the most clusterfuck of a season. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Oh, my God. But I had a question for y'all real quick. Speaking of clusterfucks of a season, I want to get y'all's take on this. Herb Street was on the Pat McAfee show. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. But he did his takes on who he thinks won the SEC, which he picked Bama because Bama, you know, people are doubting him, which is fair. They've had that doubt factor forever. Yeah. But then he said it doesn't really matter because this season's a wash anyway. Everybody's just looking forward to 2024. How in the I, – I can't go uh-huh. do my job and say my job's just a wash for this season, pay me next year. How do you keep your job saying shit like that? To me, this is the last re- real year of college football. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I mean, I ain't got really a whole lot to look forward to, but I still don't want to bypass the season and just mm-hmm. disregard it. That'd be like, like here's what I'm afraid of. You know, that, that, that'd almost be like, think about this. Think about, let's just say, let's use Auburn here as an example. Let's say Thanks. Auburn ends up having a miraculous year. The year that no one saw coming, they were the team that no one ever thought was going to – you know, and not that Auburn couldn't do it, but it's just like, you know, nobody would think Auburn – Well, they are that kind of school, though. They are that – Well, it's not even – no, I don't think you're that kind of school. It's just you got a new second year, you're you know, head coach, and nobody's picking Auburn to win a national championship this year. But what if they did? Okay, here's what's going to happen. Yeah, it'll go down in the record books. Auburn will have a nice little banner – and in every NCAA website, it says Auburn National Championships, but they're always going to think, well, they won it the, before the, the real SEC started, yeah. you know. Mm. 
It's almost like that 2020 season, you know, where people were like, oh, it was a COVID year. Which to yeah, me, I hate that shit. Yeah, that, that makes year. it more hard. Yeah. The fact, exactly and right. I, I forgot who I was talking to about this, but I told him, I was like, the COVID year is the most impressing thing I've seen Saban done. Yeah. It was he an did all that with barely any schedule. practices, all SEC schedule, no fucking spring, and just went for it. No fans, hardly. And yeah, that's going to happen. Whoever wins 2023, it's going to be like, who cares? They fucking care. Yeah, they care. Whether it's Georgia, Bama, Auburn, Tennessee, Florida State, they're, mm-hmm. they fucking care. Mm-hmm. That's right. And when yeah. you start putting that kind of shit out there, all you're doing is leaving it for other fans to say, huh, it's not important. No. Damn right. Oh, this season to me matters. I, I'm not too excited about Oklahoma and Texas. So. I'm not either. Uh, they don't. Right. I wasn't excited about Missouri A&M, uh, you know. And I'm sure people. I don't remember us too, but I'm sure there was people that probably didn't like South Carolina and, and, and Arkansas, even though like. See, I don't know because I, I know Kenny. I've, I've talked to him. He's been watching since like 1959 or some shit. And he said when when Arkansas and and. South Carolina joined. Like, South Carolina was like, whatever. But Arkansas was like a big deal because Arkansas kind of had that, you know. It was kind of like how when we got a and it was like, okay, cool. But Missouri, eh. Same kind of deal in 92. But we also got the SEC championship game. We got the divisions. <clears throat> so, it kind of – it was cool then, you know. only thing that Missouri and – there's nothing yeah. that Missouri and a and brought to the table. Uh- I I I'm, I can remember well enough for the the '92 expansion. That expansion seemed more impactful than Missouri and A and M joining. Oh yeah, well, I remember when Missouri and A and M joined. I was hoping it was going to be Texas Oklahoma, and they actually got the offers and refused. That should have been their time to do it. Yep. Now it's just like, who gives a shit? You're not going to win it. What is Missouri good? At? Are they good? Like. Are they good at some random they, sport? Volleyball. Not volleyball. a sport, but they produce a lot of actors. Brad Pitt. Uh, there's been quite a few famous actors that go to Missouri. I don't know why. They must have an acting program or something. But there's been like, yeah, there's. you look it up, they've had a, quite a few successful actors come out of that school. So I heard a topic on a show the other day, and I wanted to throw it at you guys, and it's really the last thing I got for the evening. Yeah. The morning. Yeah. Uh, if you could take six teams in any conference and do conference realignment yourself, what would you do to make it better? To make the okay. SEC better? Or any conference. Like, what would you like to see? What would Trenches, what would Carter like to see happen? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm going to get the pen and paper on this. I'm going to work on SEC as well, Carter, because I think that's where you're going. If you want them all SEC, go for it. If you want them, if you want to – Get U- USC out to the – I mean, USC to the SEC makes no fucking sense whatsoever. But and if it makes sense to you, you can do it. It's your list. But see, like Maryland, Carter, what 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 conference is Maryland in? They are in the Big Ten. Originally, they were ACC. Very good, very good. See, I, I, I'll always associate Maryland as an ACC team. Yeah. They're ACC to me. And I still, to this day, cannot get used to them being Big Ten. I would almost bring back the Big East. I'd like to see that. Yes, I love the Big East. Virginia Tech, Miami, Miami. Cincinnati, Louisville. Yeah. You know, that was some good football, man. Them Thursday night Big East games Yes, were sir. Yes, sir. That was some of the best football. It, it's, it was great. Thursday yeah. nights, man, if, if – those. That was the kickoff to the weekend right there. Oh, well, yeah. Thursday night Big or Big East games, baby. Let's do it. And it seemed like Virginia Tech played a thousand Thursday nights. Yep. Uh, Florida State played a lot of Thursday nights. Mm-hmm. Georgia Tech, too. Yeah. So, <clears> I South- actually did it where, where I dropped three and then gained three in the SEC. Okay. I'd get rid of Missouri, Vandy, and Mississippi State. Ooh. And I'd bring in Florida State, Miami, and Texas. Mm. Okay. I I removed Missouri and added Florida State. Uh-huh. But that's the only one I could think of because – No Clemson? See, that's the oh. thing. Who, because here's the problem. 
I like where you're going with it, Trenches, but the problem is those original members like Mississippi State and Vanderbilt, they're never going to leave. They just won't, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but th- this isn't about convincing them. This is about what I want to see. True. You are the commissioner. Okay. Well, you are. The you're president. Sankey in this. You're, yeah, you're you're Sankey in this whole the whole deal. And I just, I, it would be hard for me to have Florida, Florida State, and not have Miami in there because those are three, two great games you want to see every year. Yeah, you got the natural rivalry factor. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to see Mississippi State go. I, I would definitely like to see Missouri gone place with FSU. I might even like let Texas A&M go to bring in like a Clemson Whoa. or a Virginia Tech. But then you'd have to realign the whole East-West thing. See, if, if Missouri's gone, you bring in Florida State, just put them in the East. Or, or hell with it. Keep Florida State in the ACC, bring over Clemson. You got two Carolina teams, you know. I don't know. I mean, it seems like if we do a super conference, I mean, the ACC is going to break up Part of it's coming to the ACC, the SEC. I think you're going to mm. see Virginia Tech. I think you're going to see Florida State. I think you might even North see Carolina. Let's see. Uh, if we added four more teams, that would make it a 20-team conference. I think we'd have to have 22. So, I think if you bring in Virginia Tech, Clemson, Miami, Florida State, you brought in um, – Like, you got to have a couple shitty ones in there, too. Okay, bring, bring in North Carolina, bring in NC State or Duke. Yeah. Honestly, I say keep Duke the fuck out of it. But yeah, North Carolina and the Wolfpack. Yeah, great. but think about the basketball effect of having North Carolina and Duke and Kentucky in the same fucking conference. Hey, hey, hey! We are not SEC fans here, Carter. We don't root <laughs> for the SEC. What I'm about not, Virginia? No love for Virginia. I don't give a shit where Virginia goes. <laughs> I'm an SEC fan. I just don't root for teams that aren't my team. But but no, seriously, think about the gauntlet. Of the SEC tournament, when you've got Duke, North Carolina, and fucking Kentucky, Kentucky. like oh my god, dude, that that's insane. And you got teams like Alabama, Auburn, Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. What about uh West Virginia? I always thought West Virginia was kind of a cool looking. I'd be okay with that in the SEC. That they they have kind of a wild. They're crazy. almost too inbred for us. <laughs> yes. The one thing about the SEC that I've always thought was cool. Virginia Tech would be one of mine. Is that all of our state, you know, all the states connect. Everything's connected. With West Virginia, I don't think, yeah, I guess Kentucky would have it connected. So, never mind. Scratch that. But just barely. Cause, and then you'd have to bring in Oklahoma at that point. Well, I mean, Oklahoma's already coming. Well, if we kept going west, we could get Arizona okay. and we get USC. And you get Oklahoma State. Uh, Boone Pickens. But if That's you had hard. one team, you could go snag right now. Trench Florida State. Back. Florida State. Carter. Uh, Florida State, yeah. I'd, 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 boot, I'd boot Missouri in a heartbeat. For yep. See you, Mizzou. Uh, go. Mizzou, deserves, Mizzou should be in the Big Ten, really. Or living – Living in Florida, those Seminole fans have that SEC mindset that, that they'd fit right in, no problem. Fan base is perfect for our conference. Yeah. I've been to a Florida State game, and they're, trust me, that atmosphere works with us. They care way more than Miami does, I can tell you that. Yeah, Miami wouldn't Yeah, wouldn't really fit. I don't ever really see Miami being relevant. I mean, I think they could roll out a few good years here and there sporadically, but I think the the lore of Miami is kind of over, and the fans aren't really that super supportive. Here's going to be the one big issue, though. If you bring in Florida State, Georgia will lose their main rival with Florida because Florida will put every bit of intention and hatred straight into Florida State. I've seen it firsthand. They'd rather lose every game but beat Florida State. Mm. It's bad. That hatred's deep. Like at that cocktail party, I think I was telling Carter this the other day. Me and Rad are sitting there as a couple Gators, and we're on the Florida side because I let him pick the sides. This is his first cocktail party. The rest was all Florida State cheering for Georgia. Like it's it's deep hatred. Think of Georgia Tech came back in the SEC. 
That's just an ass. It's another Vandy. I know. You guys, great job. That yeah. it went exactly how I thought it would, which confirmed my thought. You guys, the consensus was Missouri sucks. Get them out. Get Florida State in. Another Both great w. show. Missouri yep. was a common denominator. Yes, sir. So I guess you know I'm gonna make I'm gonna try and make sure I'm here next week. Everything I got, I probably have to come in with a phone. But you know I'll be at the uh, the Magic Kingdom, the happiest place on earth. They're gonna let me in, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Ranch, high energy Carter tonight. Definitely. Yeah. He brought it tonight. And um, this morning was great for you, Carter. Yeah. And tune in tonight for a fun game night. Yes. Make sure you do that. Uh, make sure you do that. And make sure that you guys just subscribe to the channel and like it and hit the bell or get the bell on, whatever they say. You know, I mean, we're just a couple of idiots that love, love college football and sports in general. Uh, didn't talk a whole lot of other sports, but that's because there's not a lot going on. I mean, the All Star Games coming up in baseball, and they're still going. They're still making left turns in NASCAR, so nothing much changed. <laughs> we're gonna test you out next week. We're gonna talk about boxing. And we're gonna talk yes. about and boxing. cricket. We're going international. Who won the right now? Off the cuff, who won the NHL Stanley Cup? Oh, Vegas that was Knights. The, uh, yeah, the Knights. Very good. Okay, the first they beat I, the Florida Panthers. And corrected. Denver Nuggets with you guys. NBA championship. Yeah, I was okay. gonna say, buddy, that just happened this month. Okay, I got a question for you. Who won the wrestling national championship? Uh, probably fucking, Oklahoma State, probably. Uh, no, it's probably like Iowa or Minnesota or somebody. But okay, Cranch, who won the World Series last year, 2022? Braves won it in 21. So who won it in 22? Okay. Yep. Oh, I could almost – if you could give me one little hint without giving it away, I could – They they played the Braves in the 2021 World Series. Braves beat them to become World Series champions, and they went back last year and won it against the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, I'm going to need another little hint. They got a black coach or manager, and he's an amazing fucking – Managers they have probably the one of the greatest pitchers in the last 10 years on their team. They got a midget playing second, and he's a really good hitter. God, I should know it because I actually did. Jose Altuve. It was like the Astros or something. Yes. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. I was about to give away trash cans next. Yeah. They cheat and shit, you know, so. All right, my man, Cranges, and my man trenches and everybody watching we'll see you in a few days from alaska from orlando, orlando i'll still be here i love you